Well, when I was growing up, I was influenced like a lot by my uncle and my dad. Like, my dad did a lot of like production side of it, but my uncle actually had his own band called The Limbs. There was a Midwest band, and they do a lot of uh, festivals like Shangri-La with Wookie Foot. So I like I grew up on bands and festivals with like real instruments, and I always felt like music was my escape, you know. So like that's why I used the phone whenever I got it. Well, to elaborate on music being my escape, I want to say it was more like a a different way of trying to feel and see things. Like, the environment that I was around, I've always been like, it forced me to kind of be introverted. You know what I'm saying? Like, my my mom and my, she used to work like a lot. She wasn't really like there a lot of my life. And my dad, like, he's a good dad, like, but he worked like all my life too. You know what I'm saying? So like, going through that, like I always felt like I didn't really have no friends, nobody to talk to. He was moving every year. So it kind of just, put me in this place where like, music was the only thing really there for me. Um, I got about, uh, they coming up as I get older, I've been finding out about some new ones, but uh, I got four brothers and two sisters that I know of. Growing up, like I was always like, like just different than everybody. Like I, I liked it kind of being alone. I, I grew accustomed to it. Uh, I used to ask like to go hang out with my brothers, go where they go, but like I couldn't. Like, cause my other two sisters, I ain't really find out about them till I was like 13, 14. So it was just me and my brothers for a while. And for it just being us and them not really wanting me to hang around, like it forced me to just be by myself. I was the only girl. A specific album that inspired me growing up, it's gonna sound crazy, but it was actually my very first album that I finished when I was 10. And my dad was my manager at the time. And I had developed a little group with my little brother. Uh, well, I was always real close to my little brother, but like I said, if the boys wouldn't do something, he was with them, you know? But when I got my time with him, like, we was, we was close on that end. So, like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, that's just how, like, it came about. I developed a, uh, a group with my little brother called the Mikes. It was a merge between both of our uh, names. Well, my nickname in his government, uh, his name's Chaos. Uh, my name, uh, at the time, for the nickname was Mimi. So we had mixed it up and made me case. And like, because our uncle was like, at that time, like really hot in the city, like we was able to go to all his festivals and I got to perform the first time. And like that album to hear that music till now, like it just showed me a lot of growth for myself and it changed my life just to know that I was able to do that at just a, such a young age. Like I'm able to say that I've really been doing music like my whole life. Oh yeah, the name of the project was called Achieve. I would say that my family motivates me because like I know that if I don't have nothing, I have them and I gotta give them everything you know that I can while I'm here. And then I say my second reason like to keep going and to stay motivated is my managers. Like to have people, complete strangers at first, believe in you that much and get you uh, to a level that you had not only like physically, but mentally, I just felt like I couldn't stop for them. So that's been a lot, a lot of motivation on me and on my shoulders, but I don't mind it. It keeps me on my toes. Shout out to my management team, Buddha Bless, Brandy Moore. They got two stores out in Minnesota right now, the Level Stores, off Snell and uh, Asbury. So everybody go check that out. Level sells like all the clothing in the city that you can think about. Like everybody, everybody's wearing Levels in Minnesota right now. Literally, I'm not capping. All over, every region, every, every county.